Let's get our planners ready for July. I have lots to share with you today as always in these plan with me videos. I will show you my mostly completed June planner pages. I will introduce my new digital kit for July called You Belong Among the Wildflowers. I will start setting up my planner for July and finally I have one book review for you today. Welcome to Plan With Me July. It's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. If you missed how I made this planner, you can find that video linked below. So let me start off by showing you what I added to my June signatures. Okay, so here we're starting with June. I just added some stenciling throughout the whole signature. So I also added some here and I used my Distress Oxide Spray Fossilized Amber, which comes out in this absolutely gorgeous golden yellow. This is a collage you might have seen in my junk journal snacks from last Sunday. I will link the playlist for my junk journal snacks episodes in the description box for you in case you want to catch up and see how I did that. I found this paper flower in my stash and for some reason I decided this page or this whole spread actually needed some more color. <laughs> so I just glued this one on Honey's beautiful stenciled paper. I have a video where I make these kind of flowers. I believe I don't use any punches or die cuts or anything. It's all hand cut. That's not true. This middle one is a die cut, but I think most of the flowers that I make are hand cut. So if you haven't seen that and you want to make some fun paper flowers for your journal, you can check out that link in my description box below as well. On this one, I just added this tiny envelope that I also had in my stash for a really long time and this beautiful dragonfly stamp that I received in a happy mail a really long time ago. I still don't have anything in here, but I did add some stenciling here with the spray as well as on this page. I just love how more artsy the whole thing looks. I made this collage off camera. This is just one of my sketchy birds, which I will also link for you below. There's four on a page that I've sketched with pencil and I added some original vintage ephemera. Also added a lot of spraying through the stencil as you can see. On this little page, I added one of my ephemera pieces from, from the Dreaming of Summer kit. I attached the tag as a belly band by just gluing the top and the bottom here and inside I added this coin envelope which is attached here with a magnet so, so that the flap here stays closed so we can pull that out and on the coin envelope I added one of my clip art images there's gold splattering and I forgot what I put inside Oh yeah, I just cut out one of the clip arts and there's some journaling space here on the back. So this here has the magnet under this paper and so I can just slide that in here and then attach it here. So there's another magnet under this tag and that just attaches like that. And this tag I attached as a tuck spot. I just added this jelly plate print as a background and I added this beautiful cigarette card. I think this is a, yeah, this is a Dutch one. Absolutely gorgeous. It makes me so happy when I add things in these journals that I've had for such a long time. They finally have a forever home. <laughs> Then this is my 10K step tracker. As you can see, I also added lots of messy, messy stenciling here. And you see how beautifully the fossilized amber oxidizes. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And lots of walking, which makes me super happy. I haven't added today's yet. That will go here. And I think it's probably also somewhere up here. So super, super happy about that. The story with my broken ankle is ongoing though. I have another checkup mid-August. This is another little page that I've done in the Junk Journal Snacks episodes. 
So if you remember, if you've seen that, we've added this image on the cover of this little booklet. Added gold splatters and this pocket. This is one of the journaling cards from the kit. This we've done in the last Plan With Me video. This is one of my original eco dyed prints with one of my sentiments. This we've done together in the last Plan With Me video. I just added some more messy, very messy stenciling. This is where we are right now when I'm filming this. Again, lots of very, very messy stenciling. I added my to do and my gratitude here with some clip art images. This one, and I think there's more. And this one here are from my freebie. I will link that for you as well. Again, you might have seen this one already. This is another one I've done in that Drunk Journal Snacks video, as well as this one here with this tag. Lots of stenciling here. And off camera, I added another one of these beautiful Dutch cigarette cards. And this I've added in my last Dungeonal Snacks video. This was a ticket we made in December, last December. This collage was from the Dungeonal Snacks video as well. And then this one I did off camera. There's just lots of wild spraying through the stencil again and an image I cut out from a plant book and one of my quotes. I'm not sure yet what to do with this double spread because I'm actually not going to be here. I'm actually going on vacation. Yay. So when you're watching this video, I'm actually on vacation and I'll be meeting my hubby who I haven't seen in a while again. So very much looking forward to that. So I just made this very simple collage here and here as well. This is one of my fabric rust papers. And this is again from that same freebie I just talked about. Obviously, there's a little bit of gold there in the background. <laughs> More stenciling here, as well as here. This is one of the images from my backgrounds and one of my sentiments. I will link these black sentiments for you as well. This is honey again. And this is just, again, my to-dos and my gratitude with lots of more messy stenciling. Here's kind of a strange collage. <laughs> I was just trying to use some ephemera bits that I have in my box and trying to find a home for them. So as you can see, lots of spraying through stencil. And this is what we're going to start working on today. So let me show you all my new digital. So again, the kit is called You Belong Among the Wildflowers. I will show you the digital versions now because I only printed out the ones I'm going to be using in this journal. So I printed everything on my matte photo paper and I wanted to show you the difference between printing it on this kind of paper and I will show you what that paper is in a moment compared to a high quality copy paper. So this here is a smaller print with the copy paper and 
this is the same image in large with the photo paper. So you see in comparison, this is much colder because it has a lot more gray in it. And this one is a lot warmer. I do prefer the warmer, but look how vibrant and crisp these images are compared to these. So these really look kind of washed out and these look really, really intense. And I really like the intense look. So this is the one I use. It's a German brand, Schwarzwald Mühle. It's matte, 110 GSM inkjet photo paper alabaster. I don't know if you can get this in North America or anywhere else in the world, but this is what I use. So the background, which is pushed way, way into the background because there's so many layers on top, are actually my Brayard papers. One is this one and one is this one. So I took a photo of these and then I manipulated them a little bit. Those are behind all my backgrounds, just so you know. <laughs> I will be starting with this page. I don't need this side because I have this already for my last kit in here. So June 27th till July 3rd. I have that from my Dreaming of Summer kit. But as always, I can use this right side here for my intro page for July. I do need to cut this down because this time I finally managed to print them without having the white border. Yay for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so now they're too tall. So I don't know how smart that was. But anyway, I will just cut this down. Actually, I'm going to tear this with my ruler because my paper trimmer does not like this photo paper for some reason. It makes horrible cuts. I'm going to ink up the edges with frayed burlap. And this is the last signature in this journal. So for next month, I need to make myself a new journal. I really liked the idea when I originally had planned to have one journal for six months, but that just got way too bulky too quickly. So that's why I had to split my journal up into two. Would have been nice to not have to make a new journal every three months. <laughs> I just decided I want to try something else. So I'm going to take that same braid fur lap. <laughs> I said it again, braid fur lap. <laughs> Frayed burlap. I know I said that in another video as well. And I'm going to take one of these flat brushes <laughs> and I'm going to go around the edges a lot more. And then we're gonna spritz that with water and hopefully get a beautiful oxidized effect because there's a lot of space around here. So I think this might be a good paper to try that on. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm spritzing too much. I can hear Louisa say, Barbara, stop, stop. <laughs> and she's right. Yep, I'm adding too much. It's really hard to dose that. I know, I know, I'm supposed to just press very lightly. I will let that sit for a minute. Then let's dab that with a paper towel. Louisa, I'm so sorry if you're cringing right now watching me do this. <laughs> okay, what do we think? Do we even see it? <laughs> Yes, I can see it. Look, this beautiful gray here, that's the oxidizing. Don't really see a lot of, well, here a little bit, you know, the splatters, because I didn't splatter very well. Overall, I think I did a horrible job. <laughs> I'm just wondering if I should add, I think I need to add some more stenciling to this. I'm going to try this stencil. This is from Finabare. I don't see a number here, unfortunately. And I'm going to spray with my Distress Oxide Spray Villainous Potion. I just want this on the edge. Whoa, this is quite overpowering. Wow. Holy moly, this is so strong. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop. 
and I need to put this somewhere. Let's find a page. Oh, this one might be fun. And oh, I smeared some of it. Oh, but it still looks very cool. And where else? This is wet now. Okay, so I guess I'll put it on this one since uh, I can't really turn the page right now. So I would say that was a fail. <laughs> It's way too strong, way too overpowering for these poor little flowers. I will keep it and use parts of it for collaging, but this does not work for me as a first page. So instead, I'm going to use this side here, <laughs> yeah, which I don't need either because I have this on the one side and I'll have the tracker on the other side. So I cut it down to size and this time I want to do something a lot more subtle. <laughs> I have these dragonfly stencils. I got these locally from a shop that unfortunately no longer exists and I just want one of these here. Maybe just the small one. And I'm going to use my frayed burlap distress oxide spray. Oh no! What is this? <laughs> Why doesn't it want to work? Okay, I'm going to be brave and try the reverse on this side. See if that works. Things are just not going well today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see the, the dragonfly, but I completely covered up the flower. Good job, Barbara. Wow, what is happening today? I do adore how this oxidized. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can still save this one somehow. So maybe if I trace the dragonfly shape with a pen, maybe I can still make this look like a dragonfly. <laughs> Oh wow, that's like totally off. I'm not sure I can save this. Should I put three wings here? <laughs> this is not really working. Nope, this is not going to do it. <laughs> okay, plan B. We have this clip art and this has another dragonfly. So I'm just going to cut that one out and then hopefully that will look better. And I still need to figure out what to do with this poor flower here. <laughs> Okay, so this little guy can now go over this poor little guy. But we still see some of the wings. So I'm wondering, maybe I need to spray more. I'll just spray this. Oh my goodness, this looks just so bad. I think this is one of those days where everything I do is just gonna make it worse. <laughs> Look at this, what is this? That's like a train wreck. And again, it went over the poor flower. So if I would put this here, yeah, we can see the dragonfly, but that's about it. <laughs> I don't think this page is going to work for me either. Oh my goodness. The only way I can just remotely imagine saving this in some way is by adding some really bold neon colors because it needs to be something that really stands out. So I'm going to just try this because this is a wreck anyway. I mean, I have nothing to lose here, right? <laughs> going to add this to my planner not because I think it's pretty <laughs> but because this is a reminder of the disaster that happened <laughs> and since this is pretty hard to ruin now why not add some more splatters with my acrylic ink that was a bad decision not because I don't think it looks fun but because these now need to dry for quite a while 
and they don't dry well with the heat gun so see you back here when they are dry these have dried in the meantime but you know what i hate it <laughs> And it doesn't really go with anything else in the journal. I think there are days where, where you should just stick to cutting stuff and gluing it down and leaving it alone. <laughs> so I'm going to take this print and I'm going to have a sideways intro page. My goodness, all of this and we're still at the intro page for July. <laughs> it feels really good to cover that mess up. <laughs> I'm going to add my Hello July from my notes page. I really love these notes. So this is vellum paper underneath. And I just love these because they're so versatile. You can use them in any journal for like writing space. Maybe I can find a scrap here that I can add underneath. Oh, this has gold splatters. So this page here is just one of the plain background pages, not the calendar pages, and I've printed it at half size. So my monthly overview goes here. I love this paper so much. This is just all leftover paint. My step tracker can go on this page. I think I will leave these pages for something else. This will be my first full week of July. This is for my notes. So I'll cut out these two. I've added my label on top. I've inked all around it and I'm ready to glue these down don't really want to cover up a lot of those flowers so I want to keep these more towards the bottom and I also want to add this little sticker here with the bug it's like a vellum sticker this is from my clip art he can just live on my page right here going back to the front to this page here, I want to add something from my ephemera. I think I might just leave this one as it is. I think it's so beautiful. I think one of these tags would go there really well and we could even put it in one of these three pockets. I think I'll take this one and this middle pocket. Cut them out, ink them up, and I've also added some cardstock to the back of this. And this fits in here. But I think that background is a bit plain, isn't it? I have this layer of a napkin on which I added a stencil that had some Distress Oxide spray on it. And then I just put the stencil down on this napkin and I think it looks super cool. I don't know how it's going to look on here, but I am going to tear around and then we'll see. I will add this with my matte medium. My brush has completely hardened. <laughs> I tried this with my heat gun and I love how the white basically has disappeared. I think this looks very cool. Definitely something you can try with your napkin plies. Let's see what this would look like. I'm not sure. I kind of don't want to cover up this background that much because I think it's really nice. So I think I would rather make a collage on this one and then find another page for this one, maybe this one would work actually. Yeah, I think I like that purple better with this.
I want to try to add this circle with the butterfly maybe here maybe I can attach that and I'm going to be smart and glue it on cardstock before I cut it out so that I don't have to cut it out twice I have a one and a half inch circle punch which is a little bit smaller than this round shape but it will be all right oh that was not smart i can salvage this but my punch is jammed and why did that happen of course because i didn't wait for the glue to dry and i should know better so i'm just going to bang this and hope it will jump out again yep that worked yay so if you have a jammed punch don't throw it out this is really not my day i should just stop this video right now i will ink it up and hopefully that will disguise the flaw that it has i'm going to punch out the hole and set an eyelet isn't this just such an adorable tin i love it what color let's take silver i never take silver So now we could actually also attach it on top of the tag. No, but then we cover the flower. Let's add it here as planned. So I'll make another hole up there. And I think this needs a hole reinforcement because this paper is so brittle. I have these vintage ones that you have to make wet somehow to make them stick. Should I do that? I'm going to try that. I don't know how well these stick. Ah, they stick quite well. All right. I'll add one to the back just to be sure. And I just attached this with a bulb pin now. So that can just dangle there okay i'm going to leave this for now maybe i'll add a word or something maybe i'll add something else on the tag at a later time i want to go back to this one and find something to add on top of this so i'm going to take my box of ephemera maybe i have some flowers in here isn't he adorable i think he's from australia yep He's from Australia. So I have some here. It's a beautiful contrast. Uh, nope. Oh, I like the shape of this one. Actually, that's perfect. Anything else to consider? Nope. Too small. So this is a cutout from a vintage book. Also too small. Okay, I think. Hmm. No, that covers up too much. I mean, that yellow butterfly would be amazing. Okay, I need to try him as well. Or maybe both. This and the yellow butterfly, maybe. I need to cut him out. So I'm gluing this down. And I'm gluing him down. And I'm going to add some white splatters as well as some black splatters for more contrast. While we wait for those splatters to dry, let me share the book I've been reading. So this is The Night She Disappeared by Lisa Jewell. This is the second book I've read by Lisa Jewell. The first one was The Family Upstairs, which I also reviewed in one of my Plan With Me videos which I loved and I rated five stars. So my expectations for this one were quite high. 
So the story starts off with a slow burn, with a very chilling atmosphere and multiple points of view, which soon converge into a very gripping story. So young parents, Tallulah and Zach, are thrilled to have the chance to enjoy a rare night on the town. But when the couple still hasn't returned by the next morning, Tallulah's mother, Kim, is rightfully worried. But with no clues, the case goes cold and a year goes by. When Sophie, a mystery writer, moves in nearby and clues start to surface, it seems like Kim will finally get the answer she's been searching for. So Lisa Jewell has the ability to make her characters very relatable. So as a result, you end up caring for them and are emotionally invested in the story. This thriller surprised me with twist after twist, some of which you see coming a few chapters ahead and you just can't put it down. Also because the chapters are quite short, so you always think, oh, I can read just one more. There was especially one particular twist that was very unexpected for me and made me very happy. So I'm giving this a 4.5 stars because I did like the family upstairs just that little bit more. (laughs) So I'll add this to my books page. This is a printable I have available as well. I will link that for you too if you need it. So a quick recap of what we did today. So we have our first sideways intro page. I also didn't even include a quote for July. I might add one later. We added the monthly. Here's a close up of that collage. I am really happy with that. And I think it's great. I can end this video on a positive note. (laughs) There's my tracker and there's that little page that we did with this little round dangly piece. Oh, and we did more, right? We have the first week of July and we have our first page for the to-do and the gratitudes with a little bug on it. (laughs) I hope you enjoy this month's printables. I had a lot of fun creating these. Love you guys. Mwah! Mwah!